guys forgive the change in camera i left and brought the arm to film from above but not the one to turn the camera straight so we're gonna have to rely on my cell phone because i don't want to delay these as far as getting them up but here is mr tigger his tummy thing is sewn on i kind of have him sitting at an angle there are his ears and Got him stuffed crooked. There we go. His nose, his beady little eyes. And the only thing I can say about this pattern that I'm not crazy about, that neck, even though I stuffed it and restuffed it, is just not quite as stiff as I would like. But I guess that's why his snout is made like it is, because it does help hold it up. And I did go in and tack his tail down because it was just irritating me. So that is it. That is the finished Tigger. I am going to actually put this at the beginning of the videos. So forgive me for not turning it around and showing my face. It's irritating me. There we go. Um, but... As always, there are a few disclaimers. One, Tigger is not my creation. This pattern is not my creation. Tigner, Tigger belongs, I'm sure, to Disney, probably by now. And then, of course, the pattern book is a leisure arts pattern. So as a result, as always, I cannot give you the pattern. I have a lot of people contact me and ask, and I just cannot do it. It's not mine to give. Um, I have been told that it's free online. I don't know if it is or isn't. I don't have a copy that's been like downloaded, so I can't help with that. The other thing is I am not a professional crocheter. This is just my interpretation of it. And because of those two facts combined, I have not, let me see, how can I put this as a disclaimer? I have not shown everything that there is to be shown on each you know, round or row. And I have also not made any effort to go back and if I've misspoken or anything like that and didn't catch it at the time, I've not made any effort to go back and correct things like that. So this is truly just uh, me taking you along as I crocheted and hopes that it will help you. Um, bum, 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 bum. Is there anything else I did differently? I think that's everything. I did find the ears a little frustrating to sew on, but that is what it is. So this is, sorry about the shadow, but it's the end of the day and I have finished. And I want to get these videos edited. This is Tigger and that's what he should look like. And they've got theirs, sorry about the getting closer, sitting up a little better than I do, but you can see his face better that way. So guys, this is going to go in front of every one of the videos and at the end of the last one. So somewhere around, I don't know, hopefully the end of this week, beginning of next week, which should be like the third or fourth week of February. I'm drawing a blank right now. I'll be getting these videos up for you. So thanks for watching and thanks for tagging along for this. If you like these kind of videos, I'd love it if you'd subscribe and click the like button. It just lets me know, have a better idea of what kind of content to do. And the other thing would be if you have a request or a suggestion for something else that I should make, do a crochet or knit along for, please let me know in the comments or come find me over on Facebook. I'm over there at, at home with Shara C. And I'm on Instagram, but honestly, very rarely. I just don't check it a lot. So thanks again. And let me stop rambling and get this going. Okay guys, I am back. We finished up round 67, which was the second, had the second stripe. And remember that on round 63 through 67, we're not actually working around the muzzle. And I apologize, I'm sitting at an odd angle trying to get his whole area I'm working in around the, I'm wobbling the camera this way though, I don't know if that's going to work. Uh, um, in the 
view up there. Okay, so in the joining round here, we're going to be putting these ears on. And it tells us to take our ear, and using the photo on page 14 as a guide, fold first ear in half, and twist the yellow to the side edge. So this is folding it in half, and twisting the yellow to the side edge. Does not work very easy, easily. But, let's see if that looks close to our picture. Yeah, that looks close. It's kind of... Looks like there's a little more, I guess, this is it. Oh. Of course, your guess could be as good as mine. So, now that we know that, this joining round, we're going to single crochet in the first five. four, five, twisting our yellow down toward the end with yellow side facing toward the muzzle matching yellow and orange edge of ear with next single crochet on head and working through all thicknesses, single crochet. So, we are going to twist this yellow at, if your ear is open like this, twist the yellow at the bottom down to the orange. So that this edge, the yellow is down close to this edge and then we are going to in both thicknesses go through the ends here oops I want to get that a little deeper in that stitch okay go through the ends here so you see we've got our loop and we've gone through both thicknesses of the ear the pattern, I do believe, said to stuff the ears. I feel like where I'm using worsted weight, they're probably heavy enough. I am not going to actually stuff mine, but, you know, go with what feels best to you. Then single crochet those together in the two thicknesses. I think I'm going to twist that one more round tighter. I think I'm going to actually twist it down to where I am have no yellow or, or no orange showing along the front of this edge and go in that way because I think I like that better and now go back join it and then it tells us to Gives us a note after this round to leave the remaining rows on the ears unworked until otherwise instructed. So when do they otherwise instruct us is what I want to know. Okay. Alright, before we go on, I want to see something. I want to see when they say to... Do these other ear things. Let me see. Ah, 
a little later it tells us to take the orange and sew the ear to the head so that's in our finishing so we're good we're not going to be actually crocheting those on the rest of the way so that was not as difficult as I thought it would be well really you don't need me for anything else on this round other than to remember when you get to the other side remember to attach your ear but make sure that the yellow is facing the muzzle huh well guys I pop back on here for no major reason but we'll get this round finished and I'm going to keep going Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, I'm going to do 68 on 69. We're just going to do our next brown stripe on, oh, I'm sorry. Well, that's weird. Oh, 69, we're doing a what I think is a head stripe. 70 we're doing a cheek stripe and on 71 71 I'm going to come back and we'll work through it together because then we're going to just be picking back up working around our muzzle I think so we'll come back on 71 so off camera I'm going to do 68 69 and 70 and I will be back for round 71 okay we are back and we are on round 71 which is our joining round I've already single crocheted my 40 that it calls for says to skip the next seven single crochets on the jaw. They are referring to these cro single crochets down this side. So we're skipping the seven and slip stitching in the same stitch as the last skipped. So we're slip stitching in here. Then we are going to chain 18 loosely. Make sure you do it loosely so it doesn't bunch your guy's nose up. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We're skipping 40 stitches, which is the amount around his iPad. Flipping him over and coming to this side of the snout here where we started our other stitches and we're slip stitching in the same stitch as the next single crochet so we're slip stitching in here Oops. Now, skipping the eight stitches behind the head, we're going to single crochet in the next six. So my recommendation is to simply count one, two, three, four, five, six. From your marker back, six. Come here and join one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I want to verify something real quick. Okay, 
So this opening that we've left here, don't let that worry you. When we come back to our finishing, we're going to stuff his jaw and muzzle and then sew this together. So don't worry about that being there. You're right on track if you've got that open hole there that goes into his muzzle. And that is the end of round 71 and looks a little whopper jawed because it's not stuffed, but Tigger's head muzzle is attached. Mm, my phone is buzzing. So now, <laughs> I kind of found this amusing, given how much trouble I've had with sections of all of these patterns in here. It says, in order to join the eye area of the face border to the head, you may find keeping the joining seam to the wrong side somewhat difficult when working the following round. Don't know what that means, but we will see. We're going to learn together. I just want to make sure I don't have to do any brown in this section. I know I have another brown stripe a little later, but I want to move that out of my way because I think this one's going to be a doozy of a round if they're cautioning about issues with it. Just in case I have to... Hmm, I hear a helicopter flying over. hope it's nothing serious. Often when it's that's the case here... Um, this is a rural area, and we rely on a helicopter service to ferry people out to the hospital. So anyway, sorry about the digression. It was just what was going through my mind. Single crochet in the next three. One, two, three. Remove round marker and place. Well, went through all that trouble of getting it in place in the other spot for no reason. Alright. Single crochet in next 29. <laughs> Holding the first edge of the eye area and the head with right sides together. Oh, so like this. Okay, so we are going to bring, you'll see, I'm going to flip Tigger awkwardly here so I can show you a little better and I'm going to zoom in. Alright. So, we are have finished our 29 stitches. This is the first edge of your eye area and we're holding them right sides together which means we're going to have to kind of flip it this way. And we are single crocheting through both thicknesses for nine stitches. So I'm going to make sure that I have nine stitches lined up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, which appears to me to be the corner stitch in your eye here where it had the three. So let's see what we get here. One... Two. I hope I didn't just skip one. Three. They were right. This is a little awkward. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, and last one. 
nine. Okay, I'm going to pull my loop big so I can show you what we ended up with. That closed, remember we still have this gap here, but we just went up the side of his eye panel here. And our yarn ends up down close to inside where this orange is on the inside. Or actually, where it is. Forget close to. And now we are chaining 14 loosely. Remember to do this loosely. To go behind the face. So 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then I'm going to flip him over this way because it's easier for me to work flipped. And now with all these strings in my way, we are going to hold the second edge right sides together. So again, this is really awkward in this position, but second edge right sides together we're going to single crochet through two thicknesses in the next nine so let me make sure one two three four five six seven eight nine okay now just like we did we're going to do it through the next nine stitches together so we're working up into the corner of that eye one, two, let me see, one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm started one too soon. Let's back up. Okay, so we have our loose chain of 14. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right there. So starting, let me get my string in the right, right spot hill. I've got a string hanging there. There we go. nine okay here we go we're going to single crochet together one two three four Seven, eight, and nine brings us back to our marker. I'm going to pull a big loop through so I don't lose count. And, and when it's telling us to leave the remaining 22 stitches, I'm sorry, yeah, 22 stitches unworked. It means not to worry about these along the top edge because we did that chain to crochet behind them. So, folks, I believe that is it. I'm going to, for round 73 through 77, you should be able to figure it out, and when I come back, I will have everything sewn together, stuffed, etc., so that I can um, present the finished project and start editing these videos. It's kind of bittersweet, actually, because, well, it just is what it is. Anyway, I'll be back in just a little while, hopefully today with the finished Tigger.